You have the easy job. Just focus on me and ignore everything else. Okay, sorry. Easier said than done, because that job will actually require about half of the neurons within your brain. You see, when light enters your eye, the neurons in the retina are like the pixels within an image. There's no knowledge of whether an object comprised of many pixels is present in the image, but rather it requires several stages of cortical processing in order to extract an object from the image. In the first stages, lines are, abstracted, are extracted from the pixels, the lines are combined then to form shapes, shapes combine to form object representations, and then these objects are finally given a unique identity. And then this identity information is passed to more cognitive regions of the brain where the image is understood, and then a decision is made. It's a great model, but it's a little bit concerning, isn't it, that it required so much of your brain just to see me. How many neurons does that leave then for more complex intelligent activities like imagining an object or paying attention to one object? How is something like art or mathematics possible? Well, the answer is deceptively simple. When you attend to an object or imagine an object, this process plays back in reverse. These cognitive regions direct attention to an object and that attention reactivates the neurons that represented that object in these later visual areas. This enhances your mental representation of the object, helping you to attend to the object while ignoring distracting information. It's like being able to zoom in on a computer display. The purpose of my research is to uncover whether this reactivation is limited to these later visual areas, or whether the earliest stages of visual processing actually below your consciousness, you are not aware of these lines being extracted when you see the world are altered by this top-down neuromodulation. Using neural functional imaging with uh, human subjects, we have shown that when humans attend to these ver to vertical lines, the neurons that extract these vertical lines in your earliest visual areas do show enhanced activity. However, the feedback we observed was very broad. It impacted all vertical extracting neurons e almost equally. So it remains unclear whether attention to a single detail, whether attention to a single line can enhance the neural representation of that small detail, that small line within your brain. So currently, I am training monkeys to attend to single lines within very simple shapes. And using invasive neural recording techniques, I will determine with cellular resolution whether the representation of those single lines within your earliest visual areas are activated when the monkey attends to that simple shape. In doing so, I aim to demonstrate that the brain is richly interconnected, and even the simplest of tasks, looking at a line, might, attending to a line, might require your entire brain, including areas of the brain in which processing is considered to be both simple and subconscious. In doing so, perhaps we can uncover the rich interconnections that underlie more complex kind of tasks. Thank you for your time.